looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order all right everybody poodle back on another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over the most overrated players in madden 21 ultimate team right now guys now for overrated players it's going to be a combination of two criteria here right so there's all of course there's players who i think their stats just like you know like well it's worth their price it's their price and their stats so if a player is the best player in the game and he's a million coins, you know, it's overpriced, but at the same time, is it because he's the best player in the game? If a player's expensive and he's not even, I wouldn't even call him like maybe top two or three in his position, it's overrated. And sometimes there's just players who I think, you know, are up there in price that I don't know why no one even want, no one even uses them. Overrated, right? So that's going to be kind of the criteria there. But before we get into the video, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and of course, go on down below, like the video. If you guys do need coins, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below and always use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Now let's get into this list. So let's hop into it. We have some talking to do. We have some uh, some debating to do here. Comment down below, guys, though. What is your most overrated player in Madden 21? I do want to hear it. Let me know down below. Like, what's your consensus? Like the guy that you think just costs too much and he's really not worth it. But for the first guy on my list, and it kind of sat, it kind of pains me to say this is Jeremy Shockey. Now, Jeremy Shockey is the epitome of he has amazing stats. He's great, right? But he's in the 600K range, right? Maybe even more depending on what time you get him. So he's in the 600K range for a tight end. That doesn't have, you know, that only has 92 speed. Now, yes, when you look at his route running, his run blocking, everything, he's 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 go to tight end, right? He's amazing, but that speed, right? We're wearing a speed, a man heavy meta, a speed heavy meta, you know. And the thing is with that, especially tight ends, you know, without speed, it's hard to get separation regardless of how good you are, especially in Madden Ultimate Team with the way people play. So I mean, Jeremy Shock is great. He's I'm not saying he's not good, but for 700k for a tight end that's not even the fastest tight end in the game. I mean, of course, he does get up to 95 with Sprinter. But, you know, there's some guys that can get up even higher. And there's going to be probably some tight ends pretty soon that can get up to, like, 99. So, that, that's kind of just my point there, to be quite honest with you guys. But moving on from that, uh, for the next one, guys, number four. Now, I actually really like his stats. But when you look at his price, he goes for 400 k right now, which isn't horrible. But he's an improviser quarterback. And the issue with improviser quarterbacks are the abilities. Now, I believe at this point in the game, he can get the abilities that you're going to want. But it's just a matter of AP and kind of stuff like that. But, again, Dak's kind of the guy that... That's not gonna. That's not an endgame quarterback right there, right? There's gonna be a quarterback that's a field general or a strong arm that has similar speed that also has maxed out stuff, uh, maxed out you know accuracy, as well and his release. That's the other issue with that uh, Dak. A lot of people say his release is super slow, which is part of the problem with Dak Prescott is that he doesn't have a fast release. Which in Madden Ultimate Team, remember we're speed oriented, so having guys that can come off the edge blitzing at 99 speed, you know, like the Ricky Jacksons and all those guys. Uh, you need to get you need to be getting balls off fast, and not just balls off fast, right? There's another thing there too, is that even if you can get the ball off fast, with the speed they have, it might not even be accurate. So you need a fast release to get that ball before there's pressure too, as well, right? That's another component to this. So I think Dak's a little overpriced. I don't think he's an end game quarterback in terms of like he's not the, the you know the end game quarterback. We're, we'll probably get a Vic pretty soon. That's the other thing too, right? We're, we're getting near a point where there might be a Vic or you know something like that that gets all the throw um, the throwing abilities as well as have 99 speed. That's kind of where I think we're heading to, and you know he has strong arm. But um, next on the list is going to be his fellow counterpart, J.J. Watt. I feel like J.J. Watt cards have been overrated for years. Now, here's the reason. They don't do his stats right. It's not about J.J. Watt. They just don't, they don't make his stats right. First off, I feel like he's slightly fast in real life. And so, wait, let me rephrase this. We are in Madden 21 in mid-March where, you know, Drew Brees has 99 throw power powered up and chemmed up. And Drew Brees is almost 80 speed powered up and chemmed up. And we have, you know, running backs 99 speed. We have tight ends 99 speed. Explain to me why everyone, you know, has these crazy stats. But J.J. Watt still doesn't have crazy stats, right? And what do I mean by this? If Drew Brees has 99 throw power, which is heavily unrealistic, right? Um, then J.J. Watt should have 99 block shed, which actually is pretty realistic because he's a great end, right? So he doesn't get 99 block shed. He doesn't get 99 power move off the bat, right? But he's 98 overall. And he also doesn't have fast speed. So what do you really plan when you when you really upgrade him and power him up here? He's gonna be a moderate speed, good pass rusher, decent block shot, but he doesn't get to 99 on, right? So for me, for this JJ Walk cards have been good. He needed 98 power move and 98 block shot, powered up to 99. And then the speed I could care less about, right? At that point, right? At least in the 80s. But that's going to hurt him, and he's still going for above 400 k And you know, people might want him, but you know, those guys like Ricky Jackson, who are faster. 99 block shot. And 99 power move. You really just can't discount the advantage that you have when you are able to get that right so so far like i said 
they're not the craziest price. I mean, Dak right here, 390, 400K, and then JJ Watt, 440. Isn't crazy, but that's still a lot for a player that I don't think, I, I feel for, for me right now, for defensive lineman, if you can't get 99 block shed and 99 uh, power move, I don't think you're end game. Personally, like Ricky Jackson, end game. The new Lawrence, whenever we'll get a new Lawrence Taylor, probably going to be end game. The guys that can get the block shed and the power move, because if not, you're not going to be the best run stuffer in the game. You're going to be a good run stuffer. But again, this game is very heavily oriented around tiers and thresholds, and 99 is one of them. Next, guys. Now, this pains me. I feel like they ruined this card a little bit, and that's Darrell Rivas. 700K for Darrell Rivas. I feel like, again, for cornerbacks, if you're not getting, if, like, if you're not getting 99 speed, you're not end game. And here's the issue with Darrell Rivas. They only gave him a 95 speed. So, yes, it will get up to 98. It's only one less. But there's going to be cornerbacks, like I said, like a Deion Sanders, who gets, you know, who already has 99 speed. Now, yes, he doesn't have the press, but there's going to be other corners like Darius Slay, who gets 99 speed, who gets the press, who gets the man, who gets his own, and gets the hip power. And if you come on down uh, to hip power, it's only 71. So, it's not like he's getting some crazy hip power as well. Yes, he's a great catcher. He's great with the ball in his hands. Great change of direction. Deion esque. I think he's great, but 700K for guys on 99 speed. Again, he's great. Don't discount that, but he's only 98 speed. Kind of similar to Night Train Lane, except Night Train Lane does actually, you know, he's six foot one. He's a bit taller. Uh, Night Train Lane has better strength, has better hip power. Now, Deion, now, now Darrell Rivas is like Deion Sanders, but not all the way there. Now, again, it's just because he's 700K. If he was like 400 or 500K, I'd have no problem. That's too much money. Definitely wait till he comes on down, and you can snag him up for your team if you did want at that point. Uh, but for the final guy on this list, now this one, uh, this one's pretty easy. This one's pretty easy for me to pick out. That's going to be Tom Brady. Tom Brady's going for damn near 600K right now. And he's, again, not that great. Why? A few reasons. 66 speeds, in, un unusable. Why? Because why take a pocket pass with great accuracy that can't run when you can get a pocket pass with great accuracy that can run, right? That's kind of the dilemma there. Now, here's the issue. Is Tom Brady super accurate? Yes. But by, by theory, Dak Prescott's accuracy is very similar, but Dak has a 90 speed. Yes, he's a field general, but I'll take the 90 speed, you know, because, again, it's a fast-paced game. So if someone's coming off the edge, you know, within a second, I need to be able to at least move, you know, one foot to the right to complete my throw or let my read finish, right, or something. Brady, that's the only thing that sucks about guys like Brady. You are in that pocket like mud. So if there's a guy coming and your passer isn't open yet, you have two options, right? If you're a very good user, you know how to throw away, you know how to do a few things. If you're a, you know, good user, but, you know, maybe not great, you probably just throw your reads early. You're doing a tight end out route, you throw it early. What does that lead to? Easy jump pick instead of you letting it develop to the out, right? What does that lead to? Throwing a slant earlier before it can develop, pick, drop, you know. What does that lead to? It leads to you forcing a throw before you get sacked. That could be a fumble sack, sack strip, a few other things, right? So that is kind of the problems that we do face when we do have players like Brady. Now, again, very good users put hot route master on them. They hot route their, their short reads, their medium reads, their deep reads. They have a whole system, a flood concept, whatever they do. And they know how to make all their reads quickly. So even if a blitz is coming, they're ready to go, right? I'm not that guy. I know a lot of people aren't that guy, though. There are people like that, and those guys can rock with Tom Brady all day. But he's overrated because you're playing 600K for a guy that you you have to. Your user has to be a certain skill to use him well, and that's why people go with guys like you know Vic and Lamar. In years past, they made it a little different this year, but that's why you go with the guy that they can still make the throw, but you have a, you have escapability. You have a uh, you know you, you you have a a backup option. Kind of like a get out of jail free card if you if you want to call it that. But yeah, that's about it. We have Shockey, Prescott, Watt, Revis, and Brady. Very expensive cards. And I know there's gonna be some better ones pretty soon. Yes, these are some of the top cards in the game, but they're way too expensive for what they do. Like I said, like a guy like Vernon Davis is still getting the job done, Shockey territory. And I believe he's a little bit faster as well. And you know, maybe a bit cheaper at this point. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what your most overrated player, man. 21. That's it. I'm out. Peace.